Did you see the Supreme Court turn down Chris Hedges' uh, request for them to hear his case where he's uh, suing um, basically to have part of the uh, National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, overturned. I think it's called Section 201. Um, this part that says that the military, at the president's request, can arrest you and hold you without due process, without access to a lawyer, which is, as I recall, the Sixth Amendment, without uh, access to a trial, the Seventh Amendment, speedy trial, uh, without, uh, you know, in, in a way that would be considered cruel and unusual punishment, the Eighth Amendment, um, uh, you know, being locked up for the whole rest of your life in solitary confinement. And they can do this, uh, you know, and, and, and try to compel you to, uh, to uh, indict yourself, essentially, in violation of the Fifth Amendment and deprive you of life and liberty in violation of the Fifth Amendment. They can do all of this simply by designating you a terrorist or a a sponsor of terrorists, or a friend of terrorists, or whatever. I, it's, I don't have the exact language in front of me, but it's pretty damn broad. Now, the president, when he signed this, he added a signing statement saying, I'm not going to do this. Well, that's fine. I, you know, I frankly doubt that President Obama would do it. But would President McCain? Would President Palin? Would uh, President... Lindsey Graham or Steve King or Joe Lieberman or I'm, you know, we can go through a list of, of kind of right-wing whack jobs. And if, I, you know, we have a history in this country of periodically putting crazy right-wingers in the White House. And do you really want them to have the power to put anybody in jail forever with no recourse to the courts? Really? And the Supreme Court today or yesterday or earlier in the week said to, uh, to Chris Hedges, no, sorry, we're not going to hear your case. You don't get to take apart the NDAA. We're not going to rule in the constitutionality of this. And it seems to me like of all the cases where it's obvious, they wouldn't even grant this cert. I mean, they really, they wouldn't even hear the case, which means that they couldn't get four justices to say, yes, let's hear the case. Now, I'm guessing that probably Kagan had to recuse herself from that process and that leaves only three liberals on the court and they could not get a single conservative to go along with them on granting cert granting cert means uh, saying yes we'll hear the case uh, certori is it as certiorari thank you graduate of law school Shano <laughs> 